YouTube, what's going on? It's your man V back in the house for the second review, no, the third review of the week. And I, you know what it was? I saw the movie Faster with Dwayne Johnson, also known AKA as Badass, The Rock. He's back in action. This movie, Faster, was excellent. I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was kick ass. I thought it was dark. I thought it was just woo, 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 boy. You know what? The trailers are totally misleading for this film. You think it's going to be like Fast and Furious stuff, but it's not Fast and Furious. It's more like like the usual suspects meets like Pulp Fiction meets like Heat meets like Taken. No, not take. Well, actually, you know what? There's a little bit of taken in there. I have to say, just Dwayne Dwayne Johnson redeems himself as a badass in this movie. Move over, Schwarzenegger. Bye bye. Uh, whatever the A team and the Expendables. Actually, I like the A team, but the Expendables could have been better. But this movie right here is so much better than what the trailers would like you to believe in. I know it's sort of bombed, but take me on my word. This movie is worth seeing. It's completely entertaining. It's one of those films that comes on, grabs hold, doesn't let go. Let's just start with the movie, man. Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. Badass, The Rock, he's in jail. He's released after 10 years of being in prison for a robbery, a bank robbery, okay, where he's the driver of the getaway car. That's why he drives that Chevy Badass Malibu SS. I'll get into that later because I love cars, but he gets released on his first day out. The first second he gets released, the movie starts. He's on his way. He's on a mission to find the guys that killed his brother. The brother also was a crew in the bank robbery, okay? So there is the plot. It's about revenge and redemption, plain and simple. And this guy, he doesn't have very many lines in the movie, which I thought was very cool and interesting because he let you into his world by showing you what he was going through and taking you places and he's got a hit list of about five individuals he definitely wants to do a little more than talk to with he wants to fucking break their necks and put bullets in their heads because that's what they deserve for taking out his brother so let's just go there down the list he takes them out one by one by one by one by one now the cops are hot on his trail uh, Billy Bob Thornton is very good in this film. He really does a great job. He's always good, but this time he's back with the vengeance. And he's a little bit of a dark cop, okay? When I say dark, I don't mean he's black. I mean he's still white, but he's taking heroin on the side, you know. A little bit of that bad lieutenant thing going on. But he has a family, actually an ex-family, because he's a divorcee. And he's got a fat kid who plays baseball, and he's not very good at it. He's not a very good father, but he's trying. We'll give him that. So I liked his character. So now, he's hot on the trail of Dwayne Johnson, who is systematically going through the film, knocking motherfuckers off, left and right, you know, and he does it just so damn effectively and so ruthlessly that, you know, I thought the direction was very good because they were actually going there and then they went there and they said, you know, since we're there, we're not going to take it back, we're not going to go all, you know, you know, calm calm and quiet on this one, it's not going to be a Disney film like The Rock normally does, we're just going to keep this character busting ass, so I like that part, and also the fact that well, some of it was, was filmed in Bakersfield, California, a uh, a town I used to live in back in the day, but enough about me, let's talk about the movie. As it goes on, here's an interesting twist. There was a uh, hitman who was called in to exterminate Dwayne Johnson's character, okay, because he's killing off all these people who are supposedly were informants for the police. This is where we tie in uh, the Billy Bob Thornton character with the storyline, etc., etc., but this uh, assassin was called in to exterminate Dwayne Johnson and he's a pretty boy the guy looks like a model or a, like a uh, one of those just good-looking actor guys with a British accent and he's got a girlfriend super hot girlfriend from that from the show lost forgot her name she was in Taken she was the girl in Taken she's always beautiful man I just love that girl Anyway, they had this interesting relationship where they were lovers and he was super, super duper rich, wealthy guy who was formerly a software engineer, internet guru, freaking, I don't know what he was, but he's a multimillionaire. But for fun, he, as a hobby, he's an assassin, a hired gun, and he's hot on the trail of Dwayne Johnson. And they, at one point in the film, they actually meet up and, you know, a gunplay, gunshots start happening, gunfire, whatever, and um, it was just, it was really cool how they put it all together. That's why I make the reference that it was kind of like Pulp Fiction-esque. 
but there were some twists that you didn't see coming. Also, uh, there is a very interesting scene where Dwayne Johnson is basically in a bathroom about to kill one of the guys he's been tracking down. And each one of these characters that he tracks down kind of was expecting him to show up. And uh, so he does. But I thought that scene was done really well. It was, it was gripping, you know. And I, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but just watch out for that scene. And then there's another scene. This is this is how cold blooded the film is, where a character is on is in a hospital and he's having surgery and there's like surgeons everywhere, you know, operating on him. And Dwayne Johnson comes, he actually appears to take that guy out while he's on the damn surgery table and blast him away. I was like, wow, that's what I'm talking about. When I see an action film, I want to see I want to see action, but I want to see them getting down and dirty with it. It wasn't too absurd, so I like that. Also, the uh, assassin guy, the good-looking dude, and I don't know why I keep making references to these good-looking guys in there. I'm not gay, and it wouldn't matter if I were. Here's the point. He drives around in a Ferrari, okay? My favorite car. I actually own a Ferrari, so I was like, wow, this is cool. I'm into this movie, but getting back to um, the direction um, the person who directed it also directed the film Soul Food, and um, I think there was a couple other films I forgot what she did, but I really like this guy. Um, look him up. I think he's a director to watch out for. Whatever you do, see the film. It's worth it. It's a good popcorn flick. You'll never be bored from it. That's my review for today. Be sure to check out the other reviews at my ghetto, excuse me, ghetto movie reviews on YouTube. I think it's time for me to have some more coffee. What do you think? I'm out. Take care of yourself. Peace.